Okay, so the last video that I uploaded was a little weird because basically you saw all of what I said, but you didn't exactly hear all of what I said. So I don't exactly know what happened. Um, the audio got uh, slowed down because that video was definitely over three minutes and it came out to like a minute and 30 seconds or something like that. So basically, I'm just going to try to slow it down a little bit and basically go into detail on what I was talking about. Okay, so obviously I've been absent from YouTube and the TTC for quite some time now, and uh, I have my reasons. Um, just really bu been really busy with school stuff I'm finding. Now that I'm getting closer to graduating and school's almost, being that school's almost over, uh, I have a little bit more free time, so I'll probably make a video once or twice, maybe even three times a week, but we'll just see how that goes. And as far as Texas Tech football for this upcoming season, um, I was looking back on a couple of my past videos. Uh, this is kind of a side note, but Baron Batch got picked in the seventh round by the Steelers, I think 217 or 220 overall, somewhere in that range. So congratulations to him. Definitely uh, think he can do big things at uh, the next level if they if they give him a shot, which I think that they will. He's a hard worker, and if football doesn't work out for him, he's definitely got other stuff that will. Um, very, very religious guy, uh, believes in a lot, and just all around good person, so I'm happy for him that he got picked up by a pro team. But for Tech draft-wise, that's really the only name that popped out. I'm not sure if uh, Colby Whitlock or Detron Lewis or any of those guys got picked up, but I'll get back to y'all on that. And as far as tech football for this next season, I definitely expect them to be better than they were last year because last year they had Leach's recruits trying to fit into Tuberville's uh, play calls, uh, especially on the defensive side of the ball. You get that feeling where you're kind of trying to stick a square peg into a round hole. It's just not going to work. So I definitely think over these next two or three years, they're defense will improve and like I said in the previous video uh, tackling was a bit of an issue last year and that's something that can be easily fixed you just have to go back to fundamentals to uh, work on that but really other than that uh, offensively not too much changed I mean we did get the ball in the hands of the running backs which I don't think hurt us because I remember seeing a stat last year that uh, Baron Batch had some red ridiculous streak of uh positive yards gained per rush and um so they have hard working running backs they can definitely make this adjustment work if we do choose to hand off the ball more uh not quite sure what we're looking at quarterback wise because Taylor Potts and Steven Sheffield have graduated I think Seth Daigie's going to come into play a little bit he did get some experience uh, not this past year, but the year before under Leach whenever uh, Sheffield and Potts were hurt. And we were just kind of throwing quarterbacks into uh, positions. This is kind of a stretch, but I'd kind of like to see Austin Zusalik kind of get some reps at quarterback. Maybe some type of wildcat offense. Or I guess wild raider is what they would call it. But something similar to that because he did play quarterback in high school locally in Lubbock. So... He definitely know they've actually tried a couple uh wide receiver passes with him, so we know he has an arm and he I'm sure that quarterback mentality doesn't just fade away. Uh but heck of a wide receiver. Expect him to do big things this next year too. And as far defensive side of the ball we we lost some playmakers. We lost uh pretty much our linebacking crew. Uh secondary took a little bit of a hit. Uh, but we got a good corner in Jarvis Phillips that uh, definitely will step up in these next couple of years. Uh, had a had an amazing year last year, I think four or five interceptions. So looking to build upon last year and uh, not quite sure how we're going to stand with this whole uh, new conference alignment stuff. I mean, Nebraska did leave, but Colorado's leaving uh, for next year to the Pac-10, so We'll see how all that stuff works out, but that's it for now, and I'll catch y'all guys later. Peace.